of the game yeah. at any moment. But they're going to be starting off on Pokemon Stadium 2. Already just popping out of side, but you know what? A little bit of a Hail Mary option. Not Does right. not actually connect. Uh, but already Oni going to be pushing in there. She has to go for the EWGF. Does connect it, but not able to actually get anything else off it. I really like how... Uh, I believe it's Emma going to be playing this really like hyper defense and the disruption kind of game plan. Already approaching with a lot of downers, a lot of falling aerials, and then shut down and force. There it's forcing yep. the combo to be cut short by Oni. But okay, Oni just needs a way to be able to get like back into the swing of things. Has already just been like off stage, stuck in a corner a little bit. Emma and Doyle stop just stuck to the left. Uh, the latter team are just going to be stuck to the right side of the stage. Oni gets that toss off but not actually able to ledge trap ZSS for too long. That flip kick, just a quick little get out of jail food card saying, hey, I'm going back to the stage and you can't stop me. Absolutely, Dara. I'm really enjoying the uh, the play here from Blank, though. Almost always threatening that ZSS jump and then the Ooh. coverage as well, able to get the stock off of Emma as we'll be seeing red team striking first. Yeah, a little bit of a windmill there. Okay, gonna be looking for that F smash into the immediate mash, Nairu's love. The Zelda classic, oh, yeah. truly. And it's important. It's important to keep, have that just instant invulnerability. Where Ooh. did Oni go? <laughs> you got sent in three different directions and none of them good. Uh, to the blossom. Oh, to the yeah, I, think, I think that's the best like qualification <laughs> for uh, you know what that would be. But finally connecting that up B and look at that. Classic. ZSS down B back onto the stage. Oni now just looking for a way to be able to get something going here. Sitting the, in shield. The foresight on Nair into the up smash, threatening the combo and turning what could have been a ton of damage instead into just a yet further mm -hmm. scrambles and further like jockeying or positioning here. Though I do like how uh, how Doorstop continues to want to separate and yeah. you know, let Zelda have access actually use Phantom and use those tools. Okay, I love that, you know, quick little down out of disadvantage, just like, you know what, at any point in time, if I'm getting comboed, if I'm like stuck between these two opponents, oh, have you guys seen uh, how blue she is throughout all of that thing? She's just able to get out of it um, as often as she wants to. But now they're both stuck on the same side of the stage. This is a bit of a nasty position to be put in. What a menacing kick. Tries to go for the jab mix up. That was the coverage, but Blank initiates a little bit too late. Yeah, pivoting, oh, getting that dash back forward smash as well from Zelda. Missing the Nehru's love though, and that's gonna result in a stock from Emma. Down two, uh, two stocks to four here, but threatening percents. Yet yeah, is running with that rage drive. Yeah, gets hit by the up out of shield just yeah. as the up out of shield closes out the stock for Emma as we are in a dead even game, Dara. Yeah, everybody's gonna be one stock apiece now. Oni backing off a little bit. You know, little Zalian to up smash classic, but therein lies also the difficulty of doubles, which is like, right. okay, if you get too busy comboing one person, well, the other opponent's gonna be there ready to counter hit you for just as much, if not more so, what you did to their own teammate. That was so cool. They, uh, Doorstop was stuck in a 2v1 for a brief moment there because their teammate and Oni was body blocked by the Phantom. Mm. And that's just, it's cheeky use. Once you're able to actually get that knight out, it becomes a, yeah. almost a 3v2. Okay, coming back onto the stage, tries to throw them to Oni. I like the idea. Doesn't actually get it off though. Comes back in there, just immediately getting grabbed by ZSS. One up in. Does not get the second one. But that back hit of the up in, had that connected. I smelled an up -y. I smelled something. But there's your up right there. Almost closing out the stock and the cover the frame trap as well. But uh, Oni is there to support their teammate just for a brief moment. Doorstop using that evasiveness and getting out of there immediately. Able mm -hmm. to occupy red team just long enough so that their teammate could get back on stage and get ready for this reset back to neutral. Yeah, really good awareness also just like playing around Zelda Phantom, right? Sure. Making sure you're not jumping into that. Okay, how do you actually get out of it? I, I saw a timeline where Zelda died. Oh yeah, there was many timelines, but we're not in that one at the moment. Gatekeep is heading back. Emma just trying to play that dash back game, watching out for Kazuya's uh, Devil Wings out of block. I really enjoy how both teams are just being really, really oh cautious as there is Emma going down, but now they have to contest with double, uh, with trying to catch VSS. Pyro will do a great job at that. I love the switch. Yeah, definitely no easy feat. Okay, drops down, looks for that neutral. A little bit of a fade back with the neutral. Be nice little beat reverse, right? Keeping your movement nice and tricky. Could be looking for the back end, but alas, jump a little bit too much. You you know, you get swatted away from the skies. Oh, yeah. It, it was almost too much focus on Kazuya there, because you saw he was growing red. He had that rage drive online. It's like the only way to, the best way to uh, force Kazuya into making a bad option or just to keeping uh, him out is just yeah. by throwing this Zare, throwing this back and forth, the full hop Zare at that time in an attempt of maybe a chase, just got snuffed out by, uh, by Blank.
Yeah, so uh, going on into game two, I'm trying to figure out like what could have happened that like was a little bit better. It is also doubles. It is a very chaotic format, just like by definition. So you always need like a game, especially in a best of five setting, um, to be able to adjust and get back into the swing of things. I feel like one of the biggest things, um, I don't know, it just didn't seem like they were like initiating any like massive, massive combos off of each other. And Oni wasn't put in as much disadvantage um, as I would like. You know, if it's Kazuya and he's like constantly occupying the stage, he has a lot of threatening hitboxes out there, you know? Yeah, I think that's part of why, uh, part of the effort that Blank was able to exert because they were almost always on Mithra. We only saw the Pyre yeah. at the very end, but the Mithra was there as just a hard check towards the zero suit movement, towards zero suit advantage state. It's like, hey, if you are if you are worried about being put in disadvantage and kept in disadvantage mm -hmm. by uh, by uh, by a zero suit, well, I will yeah. be there just to shut down that movement. Yeah, absolutely. But okay, coming back in with the back out. Okay. Um, quick little Nylee's love. Comes back on with the side B. I love this target switching from Emma, right? Just like saying, you know, I'm going to slap you up. I'm going to go back to you. Yeah. Bouncing back and forth and just kind of analyzing and reacting to the situation, which is just so vital uh, in a in a doubles format, especially given how Zelda's slow hitboxes yep. and frame data really means that you have to act entirely with intention. And this wedge trap intention is devastating. Ooh. That's an air dodge poked out of the side. It's all oh can't even reach it, but the save from Oni. Okay, Oni just jumps back on, but a little bit too unsafe on shield. The Phantom occupying the stage. You see that rush to the other side from Blank, trying to avoid that Phantom. Okay, comes back down a little bit aggressively. Oni going to be stuck to the ledge. This is exactly what I mean, keeping Oni consistently in disadvantage. Because as soon as you let him play the game a little bit too much, look what happens. That happens that real happens. fast. Armoring through the Phantom hit as well. Normally, nine times out of ten, that's a safe approach. Yeah. Not against Kazuya. But Not against Kazuya, buddy. <laughs> 5.99. Oh baby! <laughs> that, I mean, red team's the 5.99 team. Right For the cost of two Pop John slices. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if they do buy the slice. Anyways, uh, right now the stocks are, you know, just about like even as long as they clean up this one on doorstop stop like ASAP. But despite, you know, the uh, air dodge from uh, Pyramid, despite the foresight, not able to actually close out the stock. Oni looking for a little something funny, looking for that big hit. And uh, wow, Dory Stop just piling on these uppers over and over again. I love the trade off there, trying to get the edge guard through, but the ends up being a team kill after that big scramble on the, on the left side of the stage there. We'll get to see if how much offense Blue Team wants to exert. They've been seeming like they play, they're playing a little bit more forward, a little bit more proactive. Yeah. But that's exactly where Kazuya can throw out that Heaven Store and throw out that copious amount of intangibility or armor and copious. power through that. Yeah, really, really shooting, putting the cope in copious. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, get that down smash. Ooh. Oh, not gonna be able to get something because Blake said, you know what? Slap up a dash attack. At least they're not getting hit by this incoming truck that is like Zell uh, ZSS upbeat. With a huge stock trade, a huge stock swing even. It turned into a, a two, four stocks at two game. Red team now on the back yeah. foot. Gets the only front kick, but they, or, I mean, chasing down Zero Suit, right? Like, how do you do it? How, like, everything seems to be going at a pretty solid tempo, but then Zero Suit and Thorstop are just sitting here. It's like, yeah, hitting me, that's the hard part. Oh, yeah. like, that's what you need to focus on now. But okay, ZSS gonna be jumping around a little bit, back to a free stage control. Look at that target switch for a blank, saying, whoa, you're hitting my teammate a little bit too much. It's time to make it a 2v1. They ganged up on him and uh, was able to stop that advantage state halfway through. Getting quick little jab, oh. dashing in, dashing out. I think that could have been a lightning kick off of the jabs from Zero Suit, but instead, uh, Emma went for a down air. Either way, the stock is dropped from uh, uh, from Oni there, and it's just Pyramithra against the world, against three stocks from Blue Team. Oh, yeah. Okay, ooh, gets that down smash. Beautiful stuff covering that tech in place. I also believe at that spacing, that would have maybe covered the tech rollout, depending on the character's hitbox. Um, but either way, fantastic, fantastic stuff to Emma and Doyle Stop. Um, they played that one so much more confidently, and I feel like the advantage state was just like that much more potent this time. Yeah, I feel like the... Uh, we could just see it and how many times that they were executing and how many and how comfortable their positioning was on small battlefield oh, yeah. having access to those wider platforms met, and wider and lower platforms not only made phantom that much more of a hassle but it also let zelda uh, let zelda and emma position a little bit higher to get follow-ups off of zss this more uh lifting type of knockback yeah so we're going to be going on to game number three here um 
Yeah, I'm just curious to see how like this one's gonna play out. It feels like whenever, uh, you know, despite the fact that they lost this game, Blank and Oni, I feel like they covered each other's like spots really well. Yeah. Um, they target switch and they like they didn't want anything too bad. And what I what I mean by that is like they don't like desperately want this combo. They don't desperately want this edge guard. They like okay, I'm gonna slow things down. I'm gonna go back to basic, back to fundies, and just like help out my teammate uh, when when he needs it. Yeah, and it really contrasts with the type of game plan that it seems like Blank and Oni have been really kind of uh, exerting, which is very individualized. Like, yeah. hey, Pyra and Mithra are strong in these positions. How many times can I centralize on this location and highlight your strengths or Oni's strengths, not both in a combination? Though there was some clutch saves that Oni was able to pull off. Yeah. So we are going to be going on to game number three. They're actually going to be opting to go to Pokemon Stadium 2 this time. Already a couple of uppers, dealing a couple of little hits. Um, yeah, everybody's just going through like the quickest low percent BNBs. Nobody really wants to go through like long extended combo Ooh, streaks. Speaking of long percent combo, that could have been huge. Getting an electric off of uh, the fair, the steering edge, but still nothing coming of it. Another electric and just going cutting into up air. And that's what we, I think we were leaning on uh, early, in, before even game one, even Dar. Like, Takazuya can't do those reset looping kind of combos. He just gets like electric up air, move on. Yeah, you gotta go for your one twos. Now, little one two, get him off here. You don't have enough time to go for your little loops. Um, but also, okay, Zelda gonna be getting back onto the stage. Emma looking for that dash attack. I like the idea. But Kazuya's up here is a fantastic double move. Um, it's big, it's, you know, it covers a lot of space, it's very active, yep. and it kills. Frame 10 kill option at a shield in the middle of a haywire stack. Yes, please. <laughs> It's just, it's like Palu up smash in like a way, right? That's yeah, faster. But safer. And you don't get to the free fall. Yeah. Oh, but that stock dropped on the part of Emma though. And it, wow, wrapped up just as cleanly as uh, on uh, doorstop. That pirate forward tilt doing so much. And I think it's pretty, it, it's pretty indicative of some of the problems they were having in the last game that uh, Blank has oh. been basically saying, hey, I want to, I want to stick with Pyra at least a little bit more. Yeah, fantastic spacing on the Phantom as well. Gets that up throw to maybe try to feed the stock into going to stop. Love the idea, love the attempt, even if it did not fully come into fruition. Now, okay, dashing back a little teeny tiny bit here. Dashing in, just waiting. You see Blank being so patient through this opening, but then comes in a little bit too late. Oni ends up getting bopped and loses that stock. Oh, this could be huge. Getting the reset on the tech roll as well. That down air could have been massive, and it immediately is met up with a Demon God Fist, that forward yep. smash. I think it's glorious demon guy. Uh, Tekken names, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, the game that I definitely played for more than five minutes and not just for Lucky Chloe. But what a combo. The F build, a little bit of a toss into the up smash. Love it when they do that one in Tekken. Love Italia. Oh, that back throw could just set up into an edge guard. He almost does for doorstop. That back throw setup can be so, so devastating. Oh, yeah. And you need to start making plays here. Down is stock and maybe even down two if that heaven store went any worse. Yeah. Okay, gonna be looking for that kick, gonna be looking for that shove. Oni just occupying the stage, and alas, ZSS with no resources is like an angel without its wings, plummeting to the ground to its death. And already getting a quick little back through for the stage control, dashing and shielding, dashing and shielding. Oni's ledge trapping has been uninterrupted for the last 30 seconds. And then immediately maxes it out with a uh, with a dragon uppercut passing right through that zero suit grab, and they're back on ledge. Man, Oni just sitting and the teammate coverage from Blank. Oh, able yeah. just to see that jump, see the whiff on Uppy and say, all right, I got you, boss. I right, guess it with the multi hit of the Uppy. You know, you you don't want to go for like the beefy Uppy over the ledge and you know, like it doubles just because like if you do right. hit it, sure thing. The other teammate is still going to be able to hit you at that time. Goes through the forward, but then fades back. ZSS has enough air speed to get away with anything she wants. Yeah, but all it takes is one here. That Nair isn't going to lead into anything, but... Okay, yes like, it will. You know, fast fall into nothing. Your demons. Yeah, just... Into your demons. 